Hello YouTubers, I figured I'd uh, do a little update on the uh, BX25D. We added a few more little things to it, so I wanted to point them out to you. Uh, first of all, we added front fenders. They, uh, the Grand L had front fenders, so I kind of like the look of it. Probably the most unpractical thing in the world to have on a BX, but the cool factor is definitely there. My wife went and made the uh, custom logo for it and it's uh, it's done like an emblem there's a, a clear epoxy over it and I'll try to show you the brackets that I made I don't know if you can see it it's quite sunny here today let me see if I can get you a shot from the other side let's see So I made a bracket and it went on to the uh, front differential. And uh, I don't know, it kinda, kinda looks like it belongs in my opinion. Another thing I added was mirrors. I, uh, I really missed the mirrors on the, on the tractor. Of course I'm used to having a tractor with a cab and of course the cab tractors have mirrors. So this is basically what I, uh, what I did. I took some uh, mirrors that uh, comes off a golf cart and I uh, adapted them to the tractor which is probably one of the easier mods that I've done and uh, you know you can see the brackets there how they're done it's quite easy to do and they pivot both ways they can go in and out or the up or down so it's kind of neat I find them really really not handy not sure if I had the other uh, toolbox on at the time uh, they're usually made for the left side but I flipped the brackets and I put it on the, uh, the right hand side uh, they're nice to put your shackles in or you know a few tools or a pair of gloves whatever I kind of like the uh, of course as you can see we have the backhoe removed right now and the reason why I removed the backhoe is because I put the three-point hitch on it and I uh, I picked up a quick hitch land pride and uh, put on the three-point so now everything is pretty well uh, faster the chipper can go on in a couple of minutes as opposed to a half an hour so, and of course Land Pride is a really good product and I picked that up at uh, Newfoundland Kubota Limited in St. John's Newfoundland where I buy pretty well everything for the tractor. And I also picked up the, uh, the Kubota ballast box of course as you can see it's a B5320 and uh, the only thing is, is uh, it really wouldn't fit the quick hitch properly so over the weekend I went and uh, modified it. So I put in, uh, I made up all these new brackets. I filled in all the original holes that were here. And you can see new brackets here. I machined new bushings to fit the, uh, the quick hitch. And uh, it works really well. The only problem is with, with these ballast boxes is they really don't go low enough. The three point hitch is still about a foot off the ground when it's completely lowered. So what I did is I just made a a stand, a quick stand on a caster so I could push it around and I'll take that off shortly and show you how With it looks. the ballast box I also put uh, one of these literature holders on it and uh, you can put gloves in there or a first aid kit and a place to put your rake and your shovel and your hole whatever and I also put a cover on it. The thing is not really, the box wasn't really built square so but it does the job and it's it's filled up with sand approximate weight on this one full of sand is probably around 350 pounds so I also integrated a, uh, a receiver for a hitch just in case I needed to pull a trailer or something in around the yard and it uh, works quite well so uh, I'll take it off there now and let you see how okay, it works. Okay let's see if we can get these uh, ballast box off. Should have probably had a break on these wheels. We shall see you now. Put her down slowly. Let's just see how it, uh, how it works. There we go. Just got to get her right. It's probably only the second time I've ever done this. I only designed it yesterday. Okay, so we'll unhook. Look. And 
he's down. That's 400 pounds right there. 350 to 400 pounds. So won't be ideal for anybody in a gravel driveway, but if I want to drop this in the garage or the shed, and of course if I want to hook it up again, it's only to uh, wheel it over and uh, hook it up like so. I'll show you now. Another upgrade I did uh, was a bucket level indicator. Not that uh, one there, but the one right here. And it's kind of kind of designed like the one on the Grand L. So I'm going to get off the machine now and I'm going to show you exactly how I did it. Okay, so it's basically adjustable, as you can see by the uh, adjustment pin right there. And uh, that rod, when it comes up on the, the crooked end, well, that's when the bucket is exactly level. I have to put a little rubber knob on the end of it. And you can see how it's, uh, how it's done there. I machined the end piece out of some solid stock and put a pin through it and a cotter pin. And I welded the, uh, the little bracket on there as well to hold it. And uh, it works quite well. I'll give you a close-up of the uh, what I call the tow guard. Let you see how it looks. So that's basically it. So I'll uh, I'll take all this off again now, and I'll put the uh, backhoe attachment on. I think that's it for the uh, for the latest mods. The next mod I'll be doing, or the next two mods I'll be doing, will probably be what? I'm going to do a quick change for the backhoe bucket. The backhoe bucket will be a quick change system. And then I'll be making the ditching bucket. It'll probably be, I'm thinking maybe 20 to 24 inches wide, no teeth, just for finishing. So it should be, uh, should be an interesting project. So when I get it done, or I start at it, probably what I'll do is I'll do a video of how I'm going to make it and then show it to you working. We're going to keep this one short guys, so uh, thanks for your interest, thanks for watching. Please subscribe and uh, if you got any comments, be sure to leave them. Appreciate it, thanks.